75 years behind bars. A prison sentence that long is rarely handed down, and it's usually just for murderers or rapists. But a local man faces 75 years in prison for a nonviolent crime. What he's accused of doing is something many people have done, but most don't realize it's actually illegal. Let him go! What you're witnessing is now against the law in some states. This is also becoming illegal as well as this. Don't tase me, bro! These infamous scenes are being banned in more and more states. Sit down! The police in these recordings are not necessarily the ones breaking the law. It's the people recording the police. Recording audio of law enforcement without their consent is considered a crime in a dozen states, including Illinois. That sounds like a, a plot in a movie. To call what I did a crime is, is ridiculous. Michael Allison publicly recorded law enforcement in Robinson, Illinois. Now he's charged with five felonies with 15 years in prison for each count. That's a total of 75 years if convicted. 75 years in prison and, and, and it's, it's just so unbelievable. Allison could spend the rest of his life behind bars. The 42 year old is out on bail preparing to stand trial. The crime he's accused of eavesdropping. This doesn't make any sense and uh, the, for, for one thing the statute as it's written can be interpreted any which way. Illinois is one of the states applying old eavesdropping and wiretapping statutes to new technologies like cell phones or anything else that records audio. Those laws technically make it illegal to record on-duty law enforcement officials without their consent. The penalty for that crime here in Illinois is the same as rape. They're actually trying to say that, that uh, I have committed a crime and it's a class one felony. As bad and, as rape. Yeah. It, it's, it's unbelievable. It, it is extremely serious offense. Chapin Rose worked as a prosecutor in nearby Coles County a few years ago. Rose saw the problems with Illinois' eavesdropping law as new recording technologies came along. It dawned on me at the time that, you know, this is you know, going to get crazy. But. Now Michael Allison is heading to trial for recording on-duty law enforcement officials in public. Similar cases across the country have ended with the charges being reduced or dropped. Allison is being prosecuted by Crawford County State's Attorney Tom Wiseman. Wiseman refused to talk to us about this case or the eavesdropping law. They're using it as, as written and as applied uh, as a shield law to protect uh, public officials from any kind of public scrutiny. As a prosecutor, I like having that evidence. Former prosecutor Chapin Rose says recordings can prove or disprove accusations of wrongdoing to protect citizens as well as police officers. There's some just don't like the idea of having to deal with it. I mean, they want you know the first thing you're taught in police came is being control of the situation. Rose has since become a state representative and has tried to legalize audio recordings. He introduced a bill to try to overturn Illinois' eavesdropping law, but the bill died in committee. The law is, is the law now, and I didn't have any real support to uh, change it. I just thought for the general safety of the, of the public, police officer safety, it'd be nice to have some bright line rules for the win where of recording. Uh, Never got any support on it. The law is affecting Michael Allison because he recorded police when they'd stopped by his mother's house and repaired old cars. I wanted to document my own words and any evidence of any kind of threats, harassment, intimidation. Officers said his unregistered cars violated a local ordinance. They eventually fined Allison and confiscated his cars. Allison went to the Robinson Police Department with his recorder in hand. He told Chief Bill Ackman, seen here in this file video, that his officers selectively and illegally enforced the ordinance. Allison eventually filed a lawsuit. Allison thinks that's why he was denied a court reporter during his ordinance hearing. So Allison told the judge he would record the hearing himself for documentation. Police later confiscated Allison's recorder. They also arrested him on five felony eavesdropping charges for everything he had recorded. The first time in my entire life I'd ever been arrested or, or accused of a crime or anything. Chief Ackman never returned our calls about arresting Allison on eavesdropping charges. While we were recording video inside the courthouse for this report, a sheriff's deputy came out of a courtroom and asked us why we were recording. Does it matter? 
My response you just heard in that off-camera conversation is the only audio we can play for you. Our lawyers advised us not to let you hear the deputy because we didn't have his consent to record him. It's the same law that got Michael Allison arrested. It's not just Allison. A similar situation happened to another Illinois man. This YouTube video shows Chicago police arresting Christopher Drew for selling art without a permit. Drew also had an audio recorder in his pocket, but never had the consent of police to record their comments. Now, Drew is heading to trial for eavesdropping and could go to prison for what you just saw. The Illinois eavesdropping statute actually protects police, whether it's dash cam videos or even sting operations. The state law allows police officers to record citizens without their consent. If you turn on a recorder to record the exact same conversation that they are recording, you're considered a felon and, and they're protected by the, the statute. All these police officers who were recorded tasing, punching, or shoving unarmed citizens, Sit down. none of them served any prison time. The California police officer who shot this man in the back and killed him, he's serving two years in prison. But Michael Allison, who recorded law enforcement officials in public without their consent, he faces up to 75 years in prison. By me going through it uh, is going to help other people in Illinois and, and possibly other states across the country that are dealing with the same situation. By going as far as what it has, it may be the opportunity to defeat the statute. If they was to find me guilty on, on all five counts for 75 years, um, I, I think that the headlines for that would be very telling. One headline for that verdict might read, go to prison if you record police without their consent. Michael Allison has a pre-trial hearing for the eavesdropping charges tomorrow morning. That's when his trial date is expected to be set. A week we have a follow-up tonight to our investigation of a local man facing prison time for an obscure law. Michael Allison had a pre-trial hearing today in Crawford County, Illinois. Allison is charged with eavesdropping for recording law enforcement officials in Robinson. The case against Michael Allison is being delayed. A judge granted the prosecution's request for more time to prepare. If they don't have a case. I, I don't think that the, the, the case that they have put together can even hold water. Allison faces five felony eavesdropping charges. Each count carries up to 15 years in prison if convicted. There was nothing that I did that was illegal. Allison publicly recorded audio of law enforcement officials without their consent. That's perfectly legal in most states, but it's actually a crime in Illinois based on an old eavesdropping statute. If their statute says that it was illegal, then their statute is unconstitutional. Allison believes Illinois' eavesdropping statute violates seven amendments of the U.S. Constitution. Free speech, unreasonable seizure, due process, speedy trial, unusual punishment, guaranteed rights, and equal protection. You've got to basically stare down the face of this big government that we have. Crawford County State's Attorney Tom Wiseman still won't talk to us on camera, but Wiseman is offering Allison a plea deal. It would be probation for a lower class felony with no prison time. I refuse to make any deal. I'm, I refuse to plead guilty to anything. Allison says he's also fighting the charges because his relatives served in the military and fought overseas to preserve our freedoms. I think that if we don't fight for our freedoms right here at home, we're all going to lose them. Allison would also lose his right to continue his lawsuit against the city if he took a plea deal. I don't see any choice but to fight through it. Uh, I won't give up. By not taking the probation plea deal, Allison risks being sent to prison. But he thinks jurors will agree with him at trial. If the jury sides with me, then I will be successful in defeating this statute, and all citizens, especially in Illinois, will benefit from this. But Allison could lose and go to prison for up to 75 years. If so, he would appeal as much as Illinois law allows. Allison will appear in court next month when his trial date will likely be scheduled. He's being represented for free by an attorney with the ACLU. To watch last night's investigation on this case, go to our website, mywabashvalley.com.
So we begin tonight with an update to our investigation that's been watched more times than any other story on our website ever. It's a court case that could affect anyone who uses a cell phone or any recording device. It involves a local man who faces prison time for recording law enforcement in public. The state of Illinois considers it so serious that the assistant attorney general appeared at today's court hearing. Man facing 75 years for recording the police. Before another hearing at the Crawford County Courthouse, citizens protested the charges against Michael Allison. If convicted, 75 years in prison is his possible sentence for recording on-duty law enforcement in public. Police in Robinson, Illinois, confiscated Allison's recorder, so we can't play it for you. But similar incidents have happened to other Americans. It's illegal right now what you're doing. They eventually got their recordings back and posted them on YouTube. And it's a felony if you're taping. You guys are public. And recording. A dozen states are using eavesdropping and wiretapping laws to arrest people who record audio of law enforcement without their permission. I'm not shutting it off. Officer, are you going to jail? That's for recording on-duty authorities in public or even on your own property. Just, this is my front yard. I'm just recording what you're doing. This woman it's was arrested and dragged out of her front yard for recording police. Thank you. Why? Turn around. One man was even arrested for recording officers inside his own home. It can even happen in your own car. This man and his girlfriend pulled over to record this fatal police shooting in South Florida. He got to be dead now. As they drove away, the man recording police was ordered out of his car at gunpoint. He says police smashed his cell phone, but they didn't destroy the memory card, so the video survived. In all of these recording cases, the charges were eventually dropped, but not in the Robinson, Illinois case. Why do you still want to prosecute this case? Uh, no comment, thanks. Other cases of the charges have been dropped. Why don't you drop these charges? Crawford County State's Attorney Tom Wiseman is prosecuting Michael Allison. Tom. The Illinois Assistant Attorney General has joined the case. Eric Levin told the judge citizens don't have a constitutional right to record law enforcement. I mean, do you really think people should go to prison for recording law enforcement in public? I, I would urge you to, you know, call the Illinois Attorney General's office and the spokesperson will be glad but, to. But you are the spokesperson here. I'm not, but I'm not the official spokesperson. I but you just spoke in court. Why can't you talk to us can't now? I can't make any comment to you right now. I'm sorry. But the Attorney General's office really thinks citizens should go to prison for recording law enforcement in public? These officials we interviewed are considered law enforcement. We were able to record them without their permission because journalists are exempt at public hearings. Otherwise, we would also be violating the Illinois eavesdropping statute. Journalists in other states have been arrested for recording law enforcement in public without their consent. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. This reporter and photographer were arrested for recording police. The charges in both cases were dropped. Michael Allison's attorney told the judge their case should be dismissed instead of going to trial. They argue it's unconstitutional that law enforcement can record citizens in public or even in the courtroom, but not the other way around. There's nothing wrong with recording public officials in a public capacity. I feel like if they're paid for by the taxpayers' monies, then we should have every right to hold them accountable. If this case does go to trial, it could affect anyone who uses a cell phone or any recording device. And the judge is expected to rule in the next few weeks if this case will go to trial. For our previous reports on this case, go to our website, My Wabash Valley.